All right, it's the weekend and I'm trying to catch some bluegill to use as live bait. And I've been to every good spot that I know of and every single spot is taken. So I'm here at my secret culvert to see if I can catch some sunfish to use as bait later on, either tonight or tomorrow night. It hasn't rained in a while and I figured this area would be dried up. It's not, it's actually full. The beavers are doing a good job at keeping this water level up. I'm just using night crawlers and a bobber. Let's see what I catch. There we go. Nice one. Kind of swallowed it, but I got little pliers to get it out. Whoa! There we go, first fish. A little bit small. I like using big baits when I go for flatheads or any other catfish. But some of you have said the small ones work just as good. So I'm going to put this guy in the bucket and any of the other small ones I catch. There we go. Another one. Looks like I'm going to have plenty of live bait to try out tonight or tomorrow night. It's a nice one. I know there's bigger ones in here. I haven't caught any of the big ones in a while. And I've been told there's bullheads in here and I've never caught a bullhead on rod and reel here. <laughs> Plenty of little ones here. Doing better here than I was doing at the lake. Sometimes you just have to have these secret holes that nobody else knows about so you can get bait or just fish in peace. They seem to be congregated around that tree. I do a good job at getting my stuff all tangled up. This four pound line tangles so easy. All I have is a bobber, a sinker, and a really small circle hook. See if I can give you guys a better view of the tree where I'm catching them at. Oh, that's a better one. Swallowed it too. I'm going to have to cut the line and put another hook on here. I'm still going to keep this guy and use him as bait. There's a big possibility that fish will spit the hook out in the bucket too so I can recover the hook later. I don't know what size these circle hooks are but they are tiny. Really, really, really tiny.
There we go. Another good sized one. Whoa! Getting some good sized sunfish to use as bait. Bobber came off the line. <laughs> he came right out of the water. There we go. They're doing a good job at swallowing these circle hooks. Might be able to get this guy. Okay, I think this is okay size. Whoa! Okay, I think this is okay size bait. They're all congregated around that dam over there. This one has some nice coloration on it. Oh! This one has some nice coloration on it. I see a bass over there. I don't know if I can catch it. Huh, he went out there to the bobber. If I had a little rooster tail, I'd probably be able to catch him. Oh, the worm came off. There we go. I think I'm only going to catch a couple more and then I'll call it. Ah! Oh well, he gets to grow bigger. Small one. I'm going to keep him too. Little bitty one. Oh, there's a big bluegill right there. I can't get to him. There's a tree in the water. It's probably spawning, maybe. Oh, well, should pay attention to my bobber. Little bitty ones. Oh, there's some on top of the water. They're looking at the, the bobber. Might have to put a bigger piece of worm on. There we go. They seem to be getting smaller now. 
guy's long. Another one for the bucket. All right, I got my last little piece of worm on. Another nice sized one. And he swallowed the hook. All right, I had to cut the line on this guy. It's the last fish that I'm going to catch. At least he uses bait. Whoa. I do try to use these forceps to get the hooks out, but sometimes it's just not possible. And I think I have enough bluegill and sunfish now to fish with. So I'm going to take them out either later on tonight or tomorrow. And I'm going to see if I can catch a catfish while they are on the nest. If you guys like this video, especially videos where I chase bait or catch bluegill, sometimes I catch them for fun, please give me a thumbs up. And thank you again for watching.